Happy Friday, Trade Hackers. Welcome to today's Day Trading Recap. Today's Friday, February 12th. I'm going to recap today's trades and then go over our summary for the week. So starting with today, uh, another green day, small green day, $99 was our profit. So, But green nonetheless, uh, keeping our streak, we, 14 of the last 15 days have been green. So that is fantastic. So small green day to end the week. Uh, starting with the Mighty 90s, just did one trade in MU for minus 250. No pairs trades today. And then on the runners, did a total of 349, 3 and 3. Uh, Airbnb minus 460. Boeing plus 329. Loser in uh, eBay for minus 180. Piton plus 334. Shopify minus 350. And my big winner in Twitter plus 676. So let's go over these, and then I'll come back and talk about our week. So starting with MU Mighty 90, let's take a look here. So had this had this push up, we got short right here, or actually I think it was right here uh, on this push up volume pop. It uh, started to roll over and it was coming down to the unchanged mark. Uh, I, was, I was hoping to squeeze another red bar out of here before it bounced. It didn't, it, it went ahead and bounced. We ended up adding up here. And finally got a couple red bars, and I was looking at, you know, if it came down to this pivot, I'd bail. So on this bar, I just closed it out, ended up taking a loss of 250, uh, which ended up being a good choice because this thing did rip higher. I was also talking in the room about this being a, a good upside runner. I didn't take it. I already had too many other long positions on, so I could have potentially turned around and turned MU into a winning symbol for the day, but uh, just did the one mighty 90 for minus 250. On to the runners. So first one was Airbnb. I uh, took a loss in Airbnb of minus 460. This was my biggest loser of the day. Uh, I had this big, massive volume spike here. And on this bounce, uh, we were getting short. I got short about right here. Uh, pushed against. I, I didn't add to this one. Uh, you know, this is a symbol that I keep my position size pretty small. But this thing kind of chopped around, tried to go lower, tried to go lower, tried to go lower, could not break through this pivot, tried again, and finally when it bounced and kind of broke above this consolidation area, uh, I just closed it out in this area here. And so took a loss of 460 in A, B, and B. Boeing was a winner. Boeing was a winner for 360, uh, excuse me, 329. Uh, big, massive volume spike right out of the gate. So on this pullback, Got long here. We added some here, and then it just fired up. We scaled out. Uh, I got out of all my positions, uh, all my contracts right here near the top. And when it pulled back, I reloaded. Uh, pushed against me some and then fired back up, kind of scaled out of those. And I think I got, uh, I think I may have gotten out of my last contracts there. I can't remember exactly, but plus 329 on Boeing. So a nice trade there. eBay was a small loser of minus 180. Uh, I don't trade eBay a whole lot, just because um, you know, it's not the it's not the greatest trading vehicle. But had it on my charts due to another position in it, more of a swing trade. Anyway, I uh, had this big volume spike here. Got long on this pullback for an upside runner. I uh, tried to push a couple times, push, and then it fell apart. I ended up getting out right here, which obviously in hindsight, looking at what just happened, um, I would have booked a winner, but. I was at a point of being done for the day, and when I start to feel that urge to get antsy or do stupid things, I just got to close my trades out, so I closed it out. Took a small loss of minus 180. Piton. Uh, Piton was a nice winner for plus 334. So in Piton, big volume spike here. Waited for a pullback above uh, yesterday's high, which is a great, uh, great key support level. Got long right here. Sat through a bunch of chop. Uh, popped up a couple times, and I think I got out of half right here. Sat through some more chop. Sat through all this. I was waiting for this thing to bust out, and when it finally did right here, again, I was done for the day. So I just closed it out and, uh, and booked all my contracts there for plus 334. Shopify. Shopify was a, a loser. Let's take a look at shop. So I'm going to blame Dan C for this one. Um, had, had this big volume bar here. Got short on this bounce. We were looking for a rollover, continuation lower, and this thing just chopped sideways forever, forever. And finally, when it started to, again, this was a point where I was done for the day. When it, I, I, was, I said, okay, if it, I'm going to give it one more chance. If it rolls over here, I'll keep it. 
If, if it pushes back up, I'm going to close it. So I closed it and just took a loss. Now, obviously, see, again, what happened. But, but again, I, I don't trade in hindsight. And once I start getting that feeling of being done, I just need to be done. So all good. Took a loss there on that one. And then uh, biggest winner was Twitter. Twitter's been pretty good to us. Uh, Twitter firing up with some massive volume spikes. Got long on this pullback here. And I held uh, my last contracts all the way up to this pivot and closed the last remaining ones. Uh, up here at this pivot and so booked 676 on that one uh, this thing chopped around quite a bit more ended up pushing up a little bit more later in the morning but I was I was out right here so there's a lot to be said for getting out before before a bunch of chop too because you know this doesn't look like much but it's kind of painful to sit through all that because you're sitting there watching 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 each one of these bars is five minutes long and so that's a that's quite a time so I'm I'm really happy with this even though there was more more upside to gain so those are all the trades plus 99 for the day let's take a look at our week had a nice week overall uh, you can see on the runners uh, positive green in the runners on monday nice big day in the runners on tuesday a uh, nice big day wednesday small day on thursday and then a decent day today plus 349 so for the week on the runners plus uh over 4400 dollars uh, nice win rate as well, 67.9. The the volume runner setup that we've added has certainly added some profit as well as some uh, higher probability trades to our runners. Uh, so on 28 trades, 67.9% win rate. The pairs trades have been tricky lately. I just took three of them this week. Uh, one was a winner for 579. One, excuse me, a loser for 579. A loser for 200, and then one small winner for 118. So. Minus 661 on the week for runners, or excuse me, for pairs trades. And then Mighty 90s, uh, a little in the red as well. Had one big red day on Wednesday, uh, and, and so minus 1193. Uh, lower win rate in the Mighty 90s this week, for whatever reason. Uh, I think we traded them really well, just uh, uh, didn't, uh, didn't do well this week. So minus 1193 on the... Mighty 90, minus 661 on the pairs trades, but a monster week on the runners, putting us at a total profit for the week of 2,637. Total profit since the end of August, since we've been tracking these, uh, over 45,000 now. So good stuff there. Uh, don't forget, market is closed on Monday. So no live streaming, no trading. Markets are closed. Uh, so we'll be back live streaming for the day trading on Tuesday. Take care, everyone. Have a great long weekend, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Cheers.